Hey guys, David Lemon here. I just wanted to create a short video about the changes that were deployed for Groove Webinar. So in Groove Webinar, we have added a couple of things. Like for example, we added a demo mode. This is now available only for admins, but will soon be available also for users. Uh, there's just a couple of changes that we need to do from the Groove side of things or the Groove checkout side of things, and then it's going to go live. So this functionality uh, means that when turned on, you will be able to go and create demos, all the presenter details, email addresses, and all of the analytics for your viewers will be kind of grayed out. It's not going to show uh, so that you can uh, demo it without any kind of issues so that you don't have to be afraid if your registrants or attendees emails will be shown during the demos. So this kind of demo mode is uh, pretty handy when you are demonstrating the software itself. Okay, moving on, when we go into webinars and we enable a questions box, a questions box, this means that all of the questions that were asked during the webinar will be sent in an email to one of the presenters or the moderators. So if this is turned on, you can select your presenters or moderators, you can add them inside the presenter screen over here. So if you want to add a new person to send the emails to, then you can just add them as a moderator or presenter host, and then select them inside engage your attendees live chat question box section here. Moving on, we have a couple of improvements. Whenever you're setting up a schedule for your webinars, let's just create a, a one-time schedule uh, here, for example. We have this time selector. Now the time selector works well, and this is how it was working before, but what we did is an improvement where you can now click and type in the actual uh, number. So you don't necessarily have to kind of go click 50 times if you just want to, to have that, but you can type in the numbers yourself. All right, uh, we also added image recommendations inside the Engage Your Attendees Offers section. So let's just go back to Engage Your Attendees and let's find offers. Here, whenever you are putting in an offer image, we added on the, the recommendations. So if you are adding on uh, different types of offers, for example, if you would like to have if you would like to have the normal on-screen offer, then you can come here. But if you want to kind of turn on the offers that show up in the chat, then you turn this toggle on and then you will see the actual recommendations for these as well. There is a scrolling offer as well, which has a different type of, uh, of image size that is required. So you can click through and then see the different image recommendations are now visible on screen. All right, I mentioned the presenters previously, so if we move on back to presenters. Inside the presenters screen, um, whenever you add a new presenter, previously what had to happen is that the presenter or a moderator needed to have a Groove account in order to be able to go into the moderation, this control center. Now when you add a new presenter, you can add any email address whether if they have a Groove account or whether they don't have a Groove account, they'll be able to access the, the control center and moderate the webinar uh, through here. Also, in case you're adding in a presenter, they will be showing up here inside Groove Webinar, the presenters tab, where you'll be able to create new presenters and then also manage the presenters details from here as well. Previously, that was not possible. You weren't able to add new presenters or manage them. It was more like a, a preview. Now you can create them and then just assign them into your webinars. So that's it. Basically, uh, just a couple of new things that were added and improved um, as a mini update to Groove Webinar.